Before going to the transfer section of the ovary, let us first, we will study this transfer section of the ovary in the process of the ovum or the egg, that is the ovulation process. So before going till there, we will first study this process that is the gametogenesis process. So what is gametogenesis? What according to you is a gametogenesis? What is the definition of gametogenesis, students? What is the definition of gametogenesis? What do you mean by gametogenesis? Isn't it the formation of the gametes? Yes. Isn't it the formation of gametes? Yes, very good. The formation of gametes, that is the male or the female gamete, you need to remember these definitions. Gametogenesis is nothing but the process where the male or the female gamete is formed. Yes, the process where the male or the female gamete is formed. The male gamete is firm and the female gamete is and the female gamete is ovum, ovum of the egg. Yes, the process of formation of male and female gametes is nothing but gametogenesis. Whereas the formation of the sperm is called as spermatogenesis and the formation of ovum or the egg is called as oogenesis. What it is called as oogenesis. Now, what is this spermatogenesis? The process of formation of sperm in the testis. What is testis? Testis is nothing but the important part, yes or no, the very important part of the male reproductive system. It's an important part of the male reproductive system. And there in testis, the formation of the sperm takes place. Where the formation of the sperm takes place? The formation of the sperm takes place in the testis. Yes or no, students? Yes. So in the uh, testis, male reproductive system, male reproductive system, in that, what is present? Testis. In testis, what is present? Seminiferous tubule. Yes or no? So I had given you the assignment, if you remember. May, uh, there are many of them who have submitted and then there are many of them who I haven't submitted as well. Seminiferous tubule. In the seminiferous tubule, the sperms grow or they terminate. Yes or no? Yes. It's a primary sex organ, a very important uh, part of the male reproductive system. So uh, it, that is where the sperms grow. Yes or no? The sperms grow or develop. So, male reproductive system has testes in the testes, there is seminiferous tubule, and in the seminiferous tubule, and in the seminiferous tubule, the development of the sperm takes place. What takes place? The development of the sperm takes place. Now, what happens here, students? The process of the formation of the sperm in the testes is nothing but called as spermatogenesis. This is important. Okay, definition is important. I always say definitions are very important and you need to be very specific. Students, why I'm saying you this is, see, what happens? I will ask you this question. What is spermatogenesis? If you write the formation of sperm, that is correct. But if it is like, if you give the more of a kind of a, what I should say, specification, like the process of formation of sperm in the testis, that is process is known as spermatogenesis, then it is, uh, then it becomes a proper definition. Okay, so what is spermatogenesis? Spermatogenesis is nothing but the process of formation of sperms in the testis. Yes, in the testis, immature male germ cells, I remember, I used to tell you there are male germ cell in the last class also I told you. The male germ cell, if you remember, we'll just go back there. I, I don't know how many of you have remembered it now. This. 
this male germ cells spermatogonium yes or no these are the male germ cell where they multiply to give the sperm yes where they multiply to give the sperm so this was uh, here the male germ cell multiply to give the sperm so here also we are going to study the same student in the testis immature male germ cell produces sperm by spermatogenesis by spermatogenesis process now this spermatogenesis is studied under three phases how many phases three phases is this study means there are three phases or three types okay one is multiplication phase you know multiplication means with uh, one multiplies into two then growth phase and maturation phase multiplication phase growth phase and maturation phase so students it's going to be something like this this is important this is important can you see here this is multiplication phase growth phase and maturation phase first let us uh, only just uh, press on this multiplication phase growth phase and maturation phase okay now what happens here in the multiplication phase here you can write down and take as well spermatogonial cell undergo mitotic division and increase their number now students you must be thinking like i uh, we always say that uh, gamete formation is uh, always meiosis gamete formation is always meiosis that is reductional division yes or no but here the male germ cell the male germ cell yes the male germ cell will undergo the process known as mitosis it will undergo a process known as mitosis to give a primary spermatocyte now what now you will tell what is this ma'am what is this primary spermatocyte i will tell you so what happens this is the male germ cell yes so it undergoes mitosis process mitosis are all no equational division yes mitosis are all no equational division so when the mitosis takes place this particular cell will form one cell and additional two more cell okay additional two more cell or one cell now what happens here the, the cells which are formed in that one cell is primary spermatocyte why we call it as primary spermatocyte because it is functional what it is it is functional later this cell only divides further this cell only divides further okay these do not divide these do not divide these are the additional ones okay you can just like you can uh, just avoid them they do not divide so what happens here this may male germ cell will undergo mitosis process and give one primary spermatocyte what it gives primary spermatocyte the spermatogonial cell undergoes mitotic division and increase their number okay now what happens this primary spermatocyte is fused yes or no this primary spermatocyte will undergo a process known as meiosis what it undergoes it undergoes a process known as meiosis this primary spermatocyte will undergoes meiosis division which division students meiosis division see here some of the spermatogonial cell increase in volume and now called primary spermatocyte now this primary spermatocyte in the growth phase it will increase itself and undergoes a process known as meiosis and what is meiosis meiosis is a reductional division reductional division now students you will tell me ma'am it is sometimes very difficult to remember yes or no it's very uh, sometimes it is very difficult to remember all these phases 
Now, what you are going to do, how you are going to remember this, it's very easy. What you do is write a spermatogenesis process. Okay, write spermatogenesis process and draw this entire flow diagram. You are understanding what I'm saying? Draw this entire flow diagram. Now, what you have to do, beside this multiplication phase, you need to write the definition. You are understanding that one line definition. Growth phase, that one line definition. Maturation phase, that one line definition. What will happen of this? What, will, what is the major benefit of this is? I will tell you. When I will ask you the question, draw and explain the spermatogenesis process students, that time you can just to give this explanation, add some more points from your books as well. Okay, add some more points or explain it and draw this flow. Draw this flow. Isn't this easy to remember? Yes, it will be easy for you to remember. Now, what happens here? The primary spermatocyte undergoes a reductional division called as meiosis. Uh, called as meiosis. I want others also to respond me. I want others also to respond me. Here, the primary spermatocyte, you can write down in there, primary spermatocyte undergoes first meiotic division leading to the formation of two equal haploid cells called as secondary spermatocyte. Now, what happens here? Listen to me carefully. This primary spermatocyte undergoes which division? Meiosis division. Because it undergoes meiosis division, the two cells which are formed are haploid. What they are? They are haploid. Why they are haploid? Because it is a reductional division. Meiosis is a reductional division. And two cells which are formed are haploid. Only one set of chromosome is present. Do you remember, no students? Meiosis and mitosis. Last year it was there. So before you come for your class, please make sure that you brush things and come. Brush your basic uh, meiosis, mitosis, some of the basic things. Okay. So what happens here? The two cells which are formed are haploid. The two cells which are formed are haploid. And what they are called as? They are known as secondary spermatocyte. What they are known as? They are known as secondary spermatocyte. Can you see the number change also? Here it is 46, 46 because both are diploid. Whereas this is 23 because this is haploid. Chromosome number. Can you see? Yes, students. So here it is only 23 because one set of chromosome is present. Now this secondary spermatocyte this secondary spermatocyte further goes a process known as meiosis. Further undergoes a process known as meiosis, and that is meiosis 2. Again, a reductional division. Again, four set of haploid cells are formed. Yes, again, a reductional division. Again, four set of haploid cells are formed. And what are they known as? They are known as spermatids. The secondary spermatocyte undergoes second meiotic division and produces four equal haploid cells called as spermatids. Can you understand? Four haploid cells are formed, spermatids, which later forms into sperms by spermiogenesis process, which later transforms itself to sperms by spermiogenesis process. 